Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and today I'm going to be looking ahead to our upcoming fixture this New Year's Day against Southampton at St Mary's in the Barclays Premier League and after a crucial 2-1 victory away from home at Upton Park against West Ham United, the team that were previously above us, we have an excellent opportunity to do the exact same against Southampton at St Mary's and Southampton after a very poor run of form they're coming back into the kind of form that we saw from them at the start of the season. They've got some impressive results under their belt. I think it really sparked off with that 3-0 victory over Everton a couple of weeks ago. And since then, they've been playing some quality football. And they do go into this game on the back of a 1-1 draw with Chelsea, which wasn't the best of results for them. But against this Chelsea side, I think they did very well, especially considering they were with um, only 10 men for, for a majority of that game. And uh, the big big benefactor for us is that Morgan Schneiderlin is going to be out of this game. When we played Southampton previously, they were also about Schneiderlin. I thought we exposed that space between defence and midfield very well for the likes of Santa Cazorla, Alexi Sanchez, etc. And it's got to be a big performance from our creative players. And of course, a big loss to us is that Danny Welbeck is supposedly going to be out for this game. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to line up as we're not really going to have a certified striker in the team apart from Yaya Sonogo, who I can't realistically see starting this game. And if he does, I don't know if he'll be able to I don't know if he'll be the kind of quality player that we need up top to drag us through this game. But, um, you know, the other obvious shouts to start the game are Luke Spadowski and Fiat Walker. And the thing with Podolski is playing him as a striker, I don't know how much that's going to benefit us. I remember the last game he played as a striker for us back last season against Cardiff and he did absolutely nothing for the course of the game. Maybe he'll go out there with a point to prove, but in my opinion, I think we need a bit more of a target man. I know Fiat Walker doesn't offer that, but I think he'll interlink really well with the likes of Alexi Sanchez and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. So... I think considering how, how much of an engine Alexis Sanchez has, I'd certainly start him in this game once more. And I'd start probably a front three of Phil Walcott, Alexis Sanchez and Alex Oxlade-Chain. Those three players that can expose that, that area that area where Morgan Schneider would normally be. And hopefully we can get a goal. or and Hopefully it's going to be a case of us outscoring them in this game. And potentially we could line up with our strongest defence in this game with Matthew Debussy at right back, Per Merzak and Laurent Koscielny. And Kieran Gibbs, and another player that I want to see to help bolster our defensive situation is Francis Cockland. After a very impressive display against West Ham United, I think he's got every right to start this game. I certainly think he offered a lot more than Matthew Flamini in this game, and I think you know he's got a bit more pace about him. He's younger. He really does put in a good tackle. So I think certainly he's a good squad player and someone that can fill in really well in this game. And just to give us another option, I certainly have to see his lineup in a 4-3-3 formation yet again. Like I said, the standard defence, the midfield with Cockland, Kazola, and I'd like to see Rosicki start again after a very very impressive display against QPR and Wenger did say he was rested um, for this game and hopefully he'll be featured in it at some point. And then that front three of Alexi Sanchez, Fiat Walcott and Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, so much pace going forward. Hopefully we should be able to get a goal or two. I do think we are going to miss a target man. Defensively, I you know I still don't think our defence is 100% but I can take a lot of confidence from the defensive performance that we put in against West Ham the other week. And Koscielny just offers so, so, so much to our back line. He practically is our back line. He's a magnificent player. And with him in the starting eleven, I'm not overly concerned about what Southampton got to throw at us. But they are a team that are above us. We can't underestimate them in any way, shape or form. Players that really stand out for me are like some Mane. I think he's been absolute quality since coming to Southampton. After maybe a bit of a shaky side, he's getting goals. He's full of pace. Certainly someone that Mertzak might struggle to deal with. But the kind of player that Koscielny thrives playing against. So I'm not overly concerned about these players, but I do think they can cause us problems in certain defensive situations. I mean, it's a case of everyone turning up, putting in 100%, and hopefully we can come out of this game with the win. I mean, that's what we need to do. It's crucial that we get the win in this game, and hopefully we keep racking up the points. And we go into 2015, um, well, well, we'll be in 2015, and hopefully it'll be a uh, positive turnaround, and we'll be at least in fourth position. I mean, we could realistically get a draw out of this game, but I personally think that the ambition should be there to get a win, and hopefully... We'll be able to do that with a good attacking lineup and a good stable defence. I'm confident we can come out of this game with three points. I'm going for a 2-1 victory to Arsenal. I think that Southampton have got a lot of creative players. I do think it'll be hard for us to keep a clean sheet if the likes of Tadic, Pella, Mane, Shane Long all play well in this game. I think it's going to be difficult for us to uh, cope with those attack that, that attacking array of players. But anyway, guys, those have been my thoughts going into this game against Southampton at St Mary's. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, rate, and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. Have a great new year, guys, and as always, thank you for watching.